Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cockpit with Ubuntu Server. Let's get started. So once you're in your Ubuntu Server command line, you want to update your apt. So you can go sudo apt update. And then we want to install Cockpit. And once we're done that, we want to enable the Cockpit service. So you can type system, CTL, enable. We want to enable it now. So we're going to use dash dash now, cockpit dot socket. They could type our password, and they could type it again. You could type it again, and now we're done. So to access it on another computer, just open up a web browser, and go to the IP address, and then colon 9090, which is the port. And then you'll be greeted with this login page. So you're gonna just type the credentials for your system. And once you're in, the first thing you want to do is to click on this turn on administrative access button. This will open up the permissions a bit for the console. So you can type our password. And once we're in here, we can go to software updates and check for updates. We could also see the logs and you could go to storage, check on things a little bit. You could go to networking and monitor the requests being made. And in accounts, you could create new accounts and this will affect the entire system. So now I'm going to show you how to manage Docker containers. So at your backend Ubuntu server, you want to type sudo apt update and sudo apt install cockpit podman. Now you can reload the dashboard and you should get a new section that says podman containers. And then you'll see this message that says no running containers. So if you want to create one, you can click on create container over here. You could give it a name and you could specify what user folder it's stored in and you could specify an image. So I'm going to use hello world. You can set memory limits and CPU shares and then you could also set when it should restart. So you could change it to on failure or always and then you could go to the integration tab and do your port mapping set up your volumes, and also set up your environment variables. But once you're done that, we could click on create and run. If you have problems with this, a better way is to do it from the command line. So you could just use podman to run your container and then it will show up in cockpit. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.